Hello everyone, thank you for turning on Other Blue Light. Now there's a picture of DJ Zinclair together with DJ Bongs that makes Twitter go wild. Men's not Barry Rue wrote this. They can pretend to us. There's nothing about maturity here. This man needs uh, to be freed. I'm sure he's been called Kiran during Quetas before and choose to suffer in silence. We need uh, to free uh, this man. Now this photo of DJ Zindle and uh, Murder Bongs is uh, making waves, you guys, on the internet, like I said. And the reason is because Murder Bongs is wearing a t-shirt that has Ukinen Forbes' face on it. You know what I mean? I mean, I saw this and I was like, wow, why will Murder Bongs go on and wear a t-shirt that has, you know, his wife's ex so because of this, I got so curious. I wanted to know if Metabongs really needs help or not. Is he suffering in silence for real or what is going on? Because to me also, it didn't seem right. Like, why would you do this? You know, I wouldn't do that. And I know some of you wouldn't do that, you know. So I took it upon myself to make a research to say, but Kathle Kathle Metabongs, why are you doing this? You know, and this is what I came across, you know. So as I was making my own research, I came across so many celebrities wearing the same t-shirt you guys and i was asking myself like what is going on with this t-shirt because dj zinta was also wearing it at some point cairo and then len forbes tony forbes and then your dawn design and then you know so many celebrities i don't i forgot even the names but then now the pictures are here now I was asking myself, like, why are they wearing this T-shirt? What is so special about it? And I decided to go to Tony Forbes' uh, Instagram account. And then on May 25th, this is what he posted. To honor AKA's remarkable life and expressive connections with Kaltish, we decided to release a limited edition tribute garment. This special piece embodies the essence of our collaboration and serves as a celebration of AKA's artistic journey. Furthermore, it pays homage to the AKA unique style, his indomitable spirit, and uh, the powerful impact he made on all of us. Proceeds from the limited edition tribute collection will be donated to the Forbes and Tobanaglo family. Okay, everyone, there we have it. Murder Bongs did not wear AKA's t-shirt simply because he's obsessed or anything like that. You know, it wasn't because he wants to bleach himself white so that he can look like AKA or any of the reasons that you guys think. But it was because there was an event that was hosted by Kaltish. You know, they... So for those of you who do not know, Kaltish is a clothing brand that specializes on hip-hop style. So what they do is they design and all of that and then they sell their stuff online line and they do have stores that you can walk in as well so they took to instagram also and wrote this cultish official we extend a heartful thank you to everyone who joined us at the opening of our new fleshing store in johannesburg your vibrant spirit and unity were the true highlights of the day we also want to pay our deepest respect to aka and costa teach their incredible contribution to the music industry and the immeasurable impact on our culture we celebrated and commemorated beautifully together we continue to honor the past while shaping the future also you guys can see that you know murder bones was not trying to do anything funny but he was just trying to honor the past by shaping the future so as you can see also with this picture that Len Forbes posted a long time ago, which is about two months back or something, you know, Mother Bongs was also there and then the caption was, Ahona means family. Family means nobody gets left behind or forgotten. My wish is for every person out there to experience a family like ours. It's all love over here. We are blessed. Do you understand? So Mother Bongs is part of the family. You know, I don't think they're making him part of the family because they want to place Kenan but simply because he is in Cairo's life whether they want it or not do you understand because Cairo's mother is married to this man you guys so they respect him like that you know I remember also Len Forbes took to Instagram when it was Murder Bong's birthday she posted him to say happy birthday um Murder Bong's you know what I mean which is very sweet who does that you know so it gives some love vibes you know and he's part of
of the family you guys whether you like it or not now one thing that really took my heart away is hours before the launch of the t-shirt car aka and um costa teach len forbes took to social media which is instagram and then posted some backpacks which had these t-shirts inside of course um of course aka you know what i mean and then your names like uh, nadia nakai len forbes you know tony forbes bosara and all of that names that really stuck onto my heart you know that i didn't expect was pongani and asante you know their names were there also it means they got some t-shirts also from len forbes you know and cultish and i'm asking myself like wow she really meant it when she said pongani was part of the family she was not just saying it you know so now she, he also got a t-shirt from len forbes you guys so he wore that t-shirt with pride because he got it from aka's mother so you gotta understand and give some credit to such love you guys so it goes deep you know what i mean and they did not leave asante out you know they gave her also um a backpack you know what i mean so that really took my heart away i did not expect that so maybe rather let us focus on those kind of positive things than the negative it's love over here there's no hate you know the fox family are together no matter what you know mother bongs asante dj zinke they are also part of a family you know they been accepted and it's approved and they also approved it they accepted it and that's how it is so the sooner us as mzanzi we get that inside of our head and also accept it the better we all move forward and then again i understand why we guys feel like this remember we as a black community we don't experience love like this from our in-laws most of the times with in-laws when um a person pass away and then now this fight so maybe we were expecting that subconsciously but unfortunately the forbes family did not give us what we were expecting they rather show us a different side which is love we love it like that you know so i wish that everybody our, our mama zala out there would be like Olen forbes you know and our baba zala will be like Tony forbes but then you guys that's how it is that's all i have for now do leave your comment letting me know what you think of this otherwise don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and thank you for listening